a plane is defined by any three points that are on the plane. So, suppose that a plane contains the points A, B, and C as given above. Now, find a vector normal to this plane. So, before we start with the computation here, let's try to visualize what exactly is going on. So, let's say we have a plane. So here is some arbitrary plane. And to define this plane, we use three points that exist within it. So let's go ahead and just keep these arbitrary. We'll say here is a point A, over here is a point B, and here is some point C. These three points define our beautiful plane here. So how can we define a vector that's normal to this plane? Well, we can start by defining two vectors that are parallel to the plane using these given points. So we'll start with point A as our initial point, and let's define one vector as AB. So here is vector AB that lies on the plane, and then here is our second vector from A to C, that also lies on the plane. So we'll make a little note here to ourselves that vectors A, B, and A, C lie on the plane. So if these two vectors lie on the plane, because these three points exist on the plane or lie on the plane, this means that these two vectors are parallel to the plane. So vector A, B, and A, C are parallel to our plane. So how can we find a vector that's normal to the plane? And again, normal is equivalent to perpendicular or orthogonal. So thinking about the orientation of the cross product, if we cross these two vectors, we are going to attain a vector that is perpendicular to both of these vectors, which are parallel to the plane. So the cross product of these two vectors is perpendicular to the plane. So we can make the conclusion, using the orientation of the cross product, that the vector AB cross vector AC is normal to the plane containing vectors AB and vector AC by definition. So we are going to use this now to help us in finding a vector normal to this plane containing points A, B, and C. So let's go ahead and simply use the same vectors that we have defined in our illustration above. So the first thing that we need to do is find these vectors. So we need vector AB and we also need vector AC. So here we go, vector AB. I'll have one minus one. We have two minus zero and three minus zero, leaving us with the vector zero, two, three. And similarly for vector AC, we have two minus one, four minus zero, and six minus zero, which leaves us with the vector one, four, six. So these two vectors are parallel to the plane that they lie in, and we now want to use them to find a vector normal to the plane. And we have two options here. I've only indicated the one above, but of course, keep in mind that vector AC cross vector AB is also normal to the plane. It's simply pointing in the opposite direction. So pick your favorite and find that vector. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the vector defined by the cross product of vector AB and AC. Putting this into that three by three determinant, we have I hat, J hat, K hat. 
The second row is ve the components of vector AB, so 0, 2, 3. And the third row are the components of vector AC, 1, 4, 6. So here we go. By the cross product, we have 2 times 6 is 12, minus 4 times 3 is 12, i hat, minus 0 times 6 is 0, minus 1 times 3 is 3, j hat, plus 0 times 4 is 0, minus 1 times 2 is 2, k hat. And so this leaves us with, we have 0, i hat, minus a minus 3, so plus 3, j hat, and then minus 2, k hat. And so we can make our beautiful conclusion here and say that, therefore, the vector 0, 3, negative 2. And I want you to note, when we have a 0 component like this, Usually we don't even include it in our final answer. We would simply write this as 3j hat minus 2k hat. And so this vector is normal to the plane containing points a, b, and c. And so this is our beautiful final answer. And again, remember that this is not an exclusive solution. We can also make a little love note here to ourselves and say that the vector 0, minus 3, positive 2, which of course is the cross product of vector AC and vector AB, is also normal to this plane. So either answer is correct.